guys, so it's me Alexis. Welcome back to my astrology channel and today I'm going to be giving you guys horoscopes for the upcoming new moon in Virgo on August 30th. So this video is going to be specifically for Aries suns and rising. So if you are an Aries suns or sun or rising, um, welcome. Um, and yeah, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Last time when I did these horoscope videos, I kind of shuffled and kind of drew the cards, but this time I kind of shuffled and I already kind of like picked the cards out before um, I started the video. So let me, let me, yeah, let me know if you guys like this style. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get into this video. So to talk about the new moon that's coming up, you know, generally, it's going to be in six degree Virgo. And not only are the sun and moon conjunct because it's a new moon, uh, Mars will also be conjunct the sun and moon also. So I think that with Mars coming into the mix, it adds a lot of more, it adds a lot more drive, passion, energy, and assertiveness. So this is going to be a pretty packed you know, pretty assertive new moon. And with Virgo, with a new moon in Virgo, the first thing I think of is like initiating organization or clarity in a specific area of your life. And for all 12 signs, I will kind of specify where you're gonna be doing that. But when I think of like a Virgo new moon, even though, you know, Virgo season is during like late summer and um, in fall for from where I am, like I always think of spring cleaning because spring cleaning is a great way to kind of cleanse things. It's a way to kind of clear everything out so that you can have a fresh start. And I think Virgo, the Virgo new moon will definitely reflect that energy. And overall, I think this new moon is going to be really great just because, you know, the transiting Mars in Virgo and then Sun and Moon in Virgo right now are all going to be trying to the current transiting um, Uranus and Taurus. So when I see that trine, I think that you know, for all of us, we're all going to be trying to, you know, organize our lives and utilize our lives so that we can further implement, you know, a new radical way of stabilizing our lives. So, um, yeah, Aries, let me go ahead and kind of talk about how that will personally affect you. So, Aries, Virgo rules your sixth house, which is the house of routine. It's the house of, you know, your habits, your health, your everyday life. You know, brushing your teeth is in this house. You know, when you get the common cold, you know, that's also sixth house. You know, your bad habit of biting nails is also in this house, but also your good habits of, you know, maybe waking up really early and getting a fresh start for your day is also a sixth house thing. So mainly Aries, like this is your time to kind of, you know, clear out all the gunk in your life. Like what is, what in your daily life is not helping you? Like, do you have any bad habits that are actually, you know, not helping you at all? Or what are the habits that really do help you? I think for you, Aries, you know, it's all about the little things this time around. It is definitely going to be a great time for you to kind of like micromanage the little things in your life and kind of be like, hey, does that specific habit of mine help me live a better lifestyle? Hey, does that, you know, does that little routine of mine, does that actually help me? Or am I just doing that out of, you know, out of habit, like habitually? Does it actually help? Like these are the little questions that you'll be asking. And honestly, if you've been wanting to kind of implement a new lifestyle change, like I think this new moon could be a great time to do it because you know, with the new moon, it's kind of like a time of new intentions and new beginnings and starting something new. And I think this is a great time to do it. Now, you know, with the new moon action going on in your sixth house, all of that is going to be trying to the transing Uranus, which is currently in your second house right now. And literally, the second house could mean your finances, and on a psychological level, it can stand for your self-esteem and how you bring value to yourself. So ultimately, you know, by you organizing the way you live your daily life, by you being attentive to your habits and all of that, all of this will really ultimately help how you value yourself and how you, you know, think of yourself. Because think of it this way, if you have your life together, then you're way more likely to like yourself more. And you're way more likely to have more confidence in yourself. And because of that, you know, with your Uranus and Taurus, you can feel a new sense of grounding within yourself because everything else around you tends to be a bit more at peace. If you're at peace with your daily life, you're, you'll definitely be at peace with yourself. And on a literal level, like, you know, if you're trying to find like habits or a lifestyle where you can better save your money, this is a good time to do it also. Because I could imagine like you making really great lifestyle changes to where like you can save more money 
and you can have a better hold of your finances. So this is definitely, quite literally, a really great time for you to ground yourself literally, Aries. Like, and like when I look at, you know, how this moon is affecting you, I mean, it is going to affect all the other signs in their own way, but for you, like, literally, it's just like, hey, like, you need to get your life together. This is a very, like, get your life together kind of, like, astrological event. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much the astrological part of, um, you know, this new moon for you, Aries. Uh, let me go ahead and kind of flip over the cards that I have for you. So, let me look for you. Okay. So, here are the cards. I got the Empress in reverse, I got the Magician, and I got the Ten of Coins reversed. So this kind of adds a little bit of nuance because if you've been watching this video, you may have been looking at me going like, Alexis, you have too much faith in me, or Alexis, I don't believe in that I can do this, and my deck is telling you like, hey you need to stop that. You need to start believing in yourself. This is not very Aries-like of you. You actually need to be sure of yourself. So with the Empress in reverse, I would not be surprised if you guys kind of feel like, you know, when it comes to your life, you're not really having a good like sense of stability and like, you know, sense of nurturing when it comes to your life. When I think of the Empress upright, I think of a person who kind of, who kind of like possesses like the grand feminine or divine feminine but basically i think of a person who's i think of like venus in the fifth when i see this i think of a person who's very connective and very creative and for you as of right now you're kind of sitting here in the slump going like i don't really believe that i can you know kind of keep my life together because when i see the empress at her best i think the empress is someone who can really be assured of themselves a person who can feel very confident and ultimately very secure in themselves for you you don't really you know think that you can be that way right now and this is my deck telling you hey shut up you definitely can be like this you gotta you know believe or you know at least you know believe in your capabilities so that's the empress in reversed I think the Ten of Coins is also kind of telling you something alongside with the Empress Reverse, but let me talk about the Magician first. So, I really feel like a lot of you guys are kind of underestimating your abilities because I pull up the Magician. And when I see the Magician, I think of a person who has a lot of talent. A person who has the ability to manipulate for better or worse. And for you, like, in terms of your, you know, astrological, you know, you know happenings, I think that for you, you can do so much in your life right now. You could do so much with your hobbies. You, you can transform the way you want to live your life. You may feel like you've been trapped in your habits lately, or you may feel hopeless when it comes to implementing new, better changes when it comes to your everyday life. But the magician is telling you that, hey, you are totally underestimating the abilities that you have to transform your life into something that could be beautiful. Like when usually when I see all when I see the magician, I think of a person who has a lot of talent and a lot of ability. And I think this is something that my deck really wants you guys to know. And then finally with the Ten of Coins reversed, like I think this is going to be hard for you because maybe for a while you guys have kind of had like a really, you know, stable set foundation when it comes to your everyday life, but you know, you can have a foundation on anything, but like a foundation in itself isn't always good or bad. You could have a foundation that is maintaining something really terrible and something really unhealthy. And sometimes it can really, it can really be difficult to kind of break out of that foundation and to start something new. Like honestly, to be quite honest, you know, tearing down any, you know, any bad foundation is really disheartening because you know, if you've been working at it for a long time, it's just hard to kind of break something you've kind of made so much effort on. So with the Ten of Coins, you know, this, this is also my deck's way of saying like, hey, don't be afraid to kind of demolish any habits or any, you know, any routine that's not really helping you anymore. Just because you've been doing it for a long time doesn't mean that it's a good thing. Bad things can last for a while. And, you know, with you, Aries, with your willpower and with your determination, you can make anything 
You can make anything last if you set your mind to it, and that includes the bad stuff also. So Aries, don't be afraid to break down something and to make something new. So looking at this, I mean, I'm not really sure what you guys are currently going through, but it seems as if like you guys are kind of stuck in a mentally tough, you know, life pattern or like you know daily life pattern where like you feel like you're stuck in your habits and you feel like you can't really change your habits because you've had them for so long and you really know that's not good for you but then you know that you have to do better but you don't believe that you could do better so aries you know you are always so good at pushing through and always you know not giving up and this is definitely a time for the new moon to you know remind you of that because you guys, you know, part of maintaining that, you know, that signature Aries power and signature Aries, you know, confidence is having a good, you know, routine and a good, you know, stability to back that up. And, you know, Aries, it's time for you to fine tune that. So, um, yeah, Aries, this is your um, new moon horoscope video. I hope that, you know, my astrological perspective and the tarot reading, um, really gave you guys some insight and i really hope that it all resonates so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching